Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George has provided insights into the COVID-19 related death of a British national at a resort here. The 52-year-old man arrived in St. Lucia on December 30, 2020 and died January 9, 2021. Speaking during an update to the nation on NTN Thursday evening, Dr. Belmar George informed that the deceased did present a negative PCR test result upon arrival and up until his death displayed no COVID-19 symptoms. He was not a COVID patient with respiratory symptoms or a known patient who was sick. Um, he got into a situation from a habit and he passed away at the hotel. But as our protocol where we, we test the, the dead persons just to ensure we're not missing any cases, um, he, we found out that he was COVID-19. Um, and like I explained earlier, we report our cases as uh, a COVID-related death. We're not saying COVID killed the person. We're saying it's COVID-related in that they were positive for covid um, either while they were in care or, or after their death. Okay, now he arrived here at St. Lucia, 30th yes. of December. Yes. Did he arrive with a negative PCR test? Yes, he did. Did he arrive from the UK, directly from the UK? Yes, he came from the UK with a negative test. So the question in everyone's mind, did he, uh, was he already infected with COVID upon arriving in St. Lucia? Do we have any idea if that is the case? Or did he contract COVID here on island, perhaps at the property? This is difficult to say, given that um, COVID-19 has an incubation period of 14 days. And that is to say that from getting into contact with someone who has it up to 14 days later, at any point in that period, you, you could become positive for COVID-19. So. He could have come in with his negative test and throughout the first 14 days, at any period, from day 2, 3, 5, 7, 12, he could have become positive at any point um, in that period. It is with these known risk factors in mind, the CMO says that a lot of emphasis has been placed on protective measures at accommodation properties. But is this case indicative of the need for second testing for visitors? We do test if we're concerned about the result or the timing of the result that they're coming in. So we do some level of testing also at our quarantine facilities on the seventh day, we, we test. But even with a test, and um, if you look at the protocols around the world, some persons do three, some five, some seven, up to the 14th day, the test gives you a result on one day. Um, we can choose to test when people come in. That's one option we can, but it will not change um, the protocols that you need to adhere to up to the 14th day. So it's the country to decide at what point you, you test, but it will not change what the requirements are during the first 14 days of the incubation period. 